Hi, my name's Tony. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a iPod, any sort of iPod. I've got the iPod Classic into an external hard drive. Well, first of all, you don't really need the headphones, so let's just take them off. Okay. Next, you want to connect it up to the computer with the USB cable, and then once that sound comes up connected, you want to put the iPod aside and you want to then go to iTunes and double click on that once you've done that it will open up like so you will see your iPod detected there you want to double click here once that's been done you'll see this window come up just make sure you've got that ticked doesn't matter about anything else just make sure you've got that ticked once you've done that you can now close down iTunes. Right next, you can go back to your iPod, like so, and then you disconnect it. Wait for that OK to dis disconnect so go away. Once it's gone, next is a main part you go to the main menu on the iPad and you want to press the menu button which is the top one and the center button which is select both at the same time so three two one keep pressing them until it'll get to an apple sign then straight away when the apple sign comes up you want to press the center button and play together so it's first to them which is a menu and the select button then once the Apple sign comes up, you quickly press the center button and the play and pause button together. And once that happens, you'll see a little sign come up. You can't see it, sorry about the camera, but it says a tick and it says OK to disconnect. Don't worry about that. Then next, you get your USB cable again, connect it. Then you will start hearing to connect to your computer. So now just put your iPod aside. Okay, then you go to my computer, double click here, then this will open up, then you want to right click here, explore, then this will come up, this is basically external hard drive now, and then basically just make a file drain like I have, external hard drive, why wreck your iPod, don't worry, you click on it, I've got nothing in there at the moment, but I will soon. I'll just demonstrate what you can do with it. So you make that file external hard drive. You can drag and drop things into it. Like so you can put LimeWire in there. Or even if I open up a file like score like so, I can drag that there. Then basically once it's in there can close down everything else and then you go back to your iPod but before you do that you want to right right click on your iPod so go back to my computer right click eject then you go back to your iPod like so and then you wait for the part when it says OK to disconnect again then you pull it out then your iPod will still say the same thing, nothing's changed on it and then go to go back to your like normal iPod, like play the music, watch videos you press the menu and the select button together at the same time keep hold of them until the Apple sign comes back up that's it, it's come back up, then you just wait until the Apple sign's gone just give it a second, it does take about 15 seconds or so basically once it's gone you're back onto your main menu where you can listen to music use it as a normal iPod etc there back on okay and then that's it really and next time you want to go back on to take the files off it'll so just do what I've done already and drag it back out that's it thanks for watching and please comment subscribe and if you have any problems just get back to me thanks bye